welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a very special vlog for you. We're in Warwick, which is about a two hour drive from Brisbane. It's actually a really beautiful drive and you'll see some of the drone footage as we recorded along the way. This time of the year in Warwick is absolutely beautiful because you've got the sunflowers, uh, the sunflower route, so you can check out a lot of beautiful sights along the way. Um, but we are here at the Warwick Art Gallery with uh, my friend and a local Brisbane artist, Yolanta Shimchik. Yolanta's got a wonderful um, presentation for us about the local arts, but also about something that's come straight out of Poland and the Baltic region as well. Yolanta, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely, I'm delighted to. Um, thank you so much for dropping in and um, helping us to video that event for everyone else to enjoy. Um, Warwick is a very special place. They fall in love with mini textiles coming from Poland back in 2003. They host the first time the exhibition and since then everyone is talking about it. So after years of collaboration and cooperation with Museum of City of uh, Gdynia, Warwick and myself, we are absolutely delighted to host that exhibition here in Warwick. And that exhibition will be traveling for the next 15 months or so across Australia. Australia. So make sure that you check your location, touch base with your local galleries. The collection opens today yes. and how long does it go for? Uh, the collection will be open here in Warwick up to 15 of January. So we have plenty of time to drop in, enjoy the scenery and visit the gallery. Yeah, I highly recommend staying overnight somewhere locally and then just keep traveling on. You can do a big round trip and um, obviously pop in. And it, is the exhibition a paid exhibition or is it free for anyone to come? It's free exhibition for everyone to come in. Yes. Excellent. Well, then that's fantastic. And uh, we've got some famous artists here as well, apart from yourself. Oh, thank you very much. You're kind. Very kind. Uh, it's really wonderful. Since I start to work with a textile medium and collaborate with Polish artists and museum uh, of city of Gdynia in Poland, Australian artists became much more aware of the collection, and some of people actually travel with me to Poland to learn more about textiles and textile art as a genre. And as a result. There are six Australians accepted into this international collection. I'm one of them, and I was the first Australian to be accepted. And in fact, I just spotted that someone who is in that collection as well as Australian, she's visiting that gallery today with, uh, with us as well. So it's really wonderful. The medium itself is quite rewarding. Um, the small size offer enormous opportunities for artists to send the work for a consideration. Uh, it happens on a triennial basis, so every three years. And in fact, the Museum of City of Gdynia is calling for the artists to participate in the future exhibition. And the due date for submission is end of February next year. So anyone creative out there, check the Museum of City of Gdynia website and look for the details of the submission and take part in the event in the future. We would love to have you back in Australia next time. Yeah. Well, thank you again uh, for bringing this to us and obviously thank you to Warwick for sponsoring this because it's, uh, it's so wonderful not just to see something like this in a major city like Brisbane, but more of the regional cities as well and bring the tourists in. So we can't wait to see it. Um, hopefully we'll have a lot of visitors here as usually check all the links in the description. Um, but yeah, stay with the video and we'll chat more. Thank you, Yolanta. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, for coming. this glorious exhibition of miniature textile artworks from the Gdynia City Museum in Poland. Um, this exhibition is a curated selection of works from the Gdynia Museum, uh, sorry, Gdynia Museum miniature textile exhibitions that were held in 2013, 2016 and 2019. These works are all on loan from the Gdynia City Museum. It is my great pleasure to attend this very special and long-awaited uh, exhibition in Warwick. The Baltic Mini Textile Exhibition is a very special thing and I can see the enthusiasm on all your faces being here today. It is just wonderful. As Honorary Consul, I feel really honoured to be able to promote Polish cultural heritage and the ties between our two communities even though we live, you know, many, many, many kilometres apart. Polish textile traditions are very well known and appreciated across the globe. The Baltic Mini Textile Exhibition feels very at home here in Warwick. 
textiles and you do jumpers and jazz. It's, it just seems like a beautiful fit. And we're very, very pleased that the community here makes everybody feel so welcome here. As Karina said, the collection launched in 1993 in Gdynia in Poland and is considered as one of Europe's leading reviews of textile miniatures. I'd like to acknowledge Toowoomba artist Margie Creek, Kabulcha artist Margaret Bennett, and Brisbane artists Michelle Andrews and Yola Shimshi. Well done on being included in this beautiful, um, beautiful curated uh, exhibition. So this special exhibition will be touring Australia for the next year and a half, and I'm sure that Yola and Karina will be able to tell you where it's going next so that you can share this information with your friends around Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, it is absolutely a pleasure to be here today because it's a cumulative point where I don't know how many months, hours and days we work very closely with a museum in, in Poland to just to fulfill the dream, to bring the textiles but also bring the people behind those works closer to our community. Not everyone can travel to Poland, but Poland has such a wonderful heritage around textile and textile art that um, when, when we saw it first time back in 2013, it just uh, effectively took over our lives and our passion. And so many of us uh, actually changed our practice to focus on the small format works. And it certainly did impact on my own practice. It, it just put me on a very different trajectory of artwork. And seeing this room today uh, with um, smiley faces and that you took time out of your busy life to come here makes it very, very rewarding. So thank you very much. And Which part of Poland did you visit? Oh, I've visited all parts of Poland except for probably the very east. Um, I've been with Yola for three trips and um, each one has been different and varied and uh, exciting and um, uh, yes, so in her home area near Krakow and down in the Zakopane and I'm not saying these names all No, you're well. doing great, you're doing great. <laughs> um, so. And what was your f um, favorite part of Poland? Be the vodka or the food. <laughs> oh no, no, no. The favorite part was uh, wood, um, because you have a variety of museums that are based on the textile and the textile history of that region, and um, to see the um, numerous exhibitions that we have seen in our times there. So. And where are you originally from? Uh, I was born in Philadelphia and lived in New Jersey and Maryland before wow. coming here. 47 years ago. Just kept the accent for the boys? Yes, I kept the accent because I... <laughs> it's hard to get rid of, I know, yeah. I know. It's hard to get rid of. That's right. No, I, I keep telling them I keep it for the ladies, but I just can't get rid of it. That's right. <laughs> you just have it. Yeah. That's right.